The Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 Lite is finally official. I am Keno and this is Anchor Tech. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future video. So, if you have been following me or if you haven't, well, Samsung has been working on a light version of last year's Galaxy Tab S6 and it's called the Galaxy Tab S6 Lite and it's finally official. Well, there was no press release or anything of that sort. It's just officially on Samsung Indonesia website. Anyway, the tablet is like a second iteration of last year's Galaxy Tab S5e and it has a few upgrades in some areas and a few downgrades. First of all, it's thicker and heavier than the Galaxy Tab S5e. Whether that's a good thing or not is based on personal preference. So let's talk about the downgrades. It uses an LCD panel and runs a lower resolution at 1200 by 2000 compared to the 1600 by 2560 Super AMOLED display on the Galaxy Tab S5e. It also uses a lower resolution main camera than the Galaxy Tab S5e. And I know, megapixel count isn't everything, but this is pretty low at 8 megapixels, and it has dual stereo speakers compared to 4 on the Tab S5e, and it also has less RAM on the higher storage option, 4GB of RAM on the 128GB storage option, while the Tab S5e has 6GB of RAM with the 128GB option. So what about the upgrades over the Tab S5e? Well, firstly, it has support for the S Pen stylus, and it even has one bundled in the box. It also has a better processor. Well, Samsung didn't quite say exactly what processor it used. They just said it's an octa-core processor. My bet is it's the Exynos 9611, which is better than last year's Snapdragon 670. It also has a headphone jack. So those of you who still use a headphone jack like myself, that's there for you. Remember, the Tab S5e didn't have a headphone jack. So for some, this might be useful, while for others, it might just be a useless feature. They have the same battery capacity at 7040 mAh, and their speakers are both tuned by AKG. Anyway, the tablet is gonna start at $349 US for the Wi-Fi variant, and an extra $50 for the LTE variant. This is one of the cheapest Android tablets that has a style of support, and comes with a pen bundled in the box. So, let me know what you think about this tablet in the comment section below. Also, the Tab S7 is in the works, so if you wanna stay updated on that and wanna get all the tech-related news, then definitely subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.